Seeing it coming out of the sky and you know, everyone just stopped and looked and um, thought, oh, wow. And I thought um, that the Queen was coming or something, something special, you know. So really it's all through um, Andy Sanger and he uh, got in touch with me, asked if we'd be able to get together and form some kind of knowledge exchange, uh, you know, because there's, there's really a lot that hopefully we can learn from each other and hopefully we were able to impart some of our knowledge and our experience onto the, the Quinns guys today and then uh, at some point in the future hopefully we, learn, we hope to learn something from them. We've got the army down as well as he likes to do things as uh, Kev Orwell said, a little quirky, I think he quoted him on, on uh, BT Sport. What we do want to do though is get something out of it from a transferable rugby point of view. There's a huge amount of similarities between what we do uh, and what uh, the guys here do at Quinn. So uh, the big messages from us were, were communication and you know, how we do that, how we, you know, it's so vital to everything we do. Their job is to win the battle, to win the fight to do the hard work directly correlates to what you guys are going to do. Decision making, again, something that's obviously hugely important for especially some of the key decision makers uh, in any rugby team uh, and how, again, we find um, methods in order to make sure that we're not only making the best decision but making it as often as we can. Uh, and those are probably the two biggest things, as well as just a general uh, sort of teamwork element, which is no different in, in any organisation that's got more than one person. <laughs>